Yo guys, let's talk about how to run Android apps within your Chrome web browser. So right now I have SoundCloud running within my Chrome web browser. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, there are a couple of things you're gonna have to install and make this to work. And like most things I tend to show you, this is more of a proof of concept. I wouldn't really rely on this for anything very important because it does tend to crash and you know, depending on certain apps might or might not work. So here's how we do this. You're first going to need to download this cool tool called Arc Runtime for Chrome. So this runtime, it basically is a modified version of the runtime that you will find uh, within Chrome. So Google has this runtime that allows them to run Android apps. This one's modified, and this one will work on pretty much any system that Chrome can run on. So ARM, Chromebooks, and uh, Windows and Mac uh, desktops. So what you want to do is go and download the zip folder. So let me go and download this. Once it downloads, what you want to do is go and extract it. Here we go. I want to paste it right here. And what we're going to do is go and extract this zip folder. So once we extract it, we're going to have this folder, which contains all these files. What we're going to do is we're going to load this within Chrome as an extension. So go back to Chrome, more tools, extensions. Then make sure developer mode is enabled within your Chrome web browser and go to load unpacked. Now we're going to navigate to what we just unzipped and we're going to select a folder and load it. So I reloaded this, so I'm not going to do it again, but once you load it, it'll take a couple of minutes and then you should be able to refresh your web page and you'll see the arc custom runtime. Um, now once that's loaded, there's nothing you could really do. It'll just be sitting there. So now let's go and test it. So let's go back to the Arc Runtime page and download their sample app. So I'm going to go, let's just download that. So extract. I'm going to refresh this. And now we have this UberSpot 2048. So it's a sample game. And again, we have the um, actual files for the Chrome extension. So we go back to extensions and Chrome and we go to load unpacked. We should be able to go to that 2048 and select folder and it'll load the extension. Now again, I already loaded it, so I'm going to go down to, you'll see it down here once it's loaded. So if you go into your apps and then you go to 2048, you open that up and there you go. You have the 2048 game running and this is an actual Android game. Now you can run any application within your Chrome web browser, any Android app. But to do that, you'll need to convert it. So to convert it, we're going to use this tool called Chrome OS APK. And basically, this will allow you to convert apps to run within your Chrome web browser. Now, in order to do this, you will need to make sure that you have Node.js installed. So first, go and install Node.js. So once you have that, what you need to do is install this global tool called Chrome OS APK. So that's easy to do. We're just going to go and open up Windows PowerShell, or you can use Command Prompt. And let's copy this and paste this into here and hit Enter. And it will install the Chrome OS APK globally so that you can call it. Pretty simple. Now, all you need to do is find an APK. The best place to find an APK is this place called APK Mirror. You probably heard of it. So I'm going to use the SoundCloud APK. So I just search SoundCloud and it has the release information for it. So let's go back to my folder for app conversion. And I already downloaded the SoundCloud APK. All we're going to do is go and open Windows PowerShell here. Then I'm going to type in, actually I can go up to my previous command, Chrome OS APK, uh, C-O-M, tab, it'll autocomplete. And I'll hit enter. And then you should have a new directory for SoundCloud. There it is. Now, one thing you do want to check, go to your manifest, open it up with Notepad++ or your favorite editor. You just want to check one little thing. Make sure for name that has the package name for that attribute. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Copy that. So make sure that is filled out. Then go into locales, English, open up this message JSON file. You see where it just says description. Underneath that JSON, add another property. Put in message. And then paste in that package name. 
If you don't do this, you're gonna get an error when you try to run it. So just make sure you do this step for anything that you convert. Put, put in a message and then a package name and then save that file. All right, so now all you gotta do is go back to your extensions, go to load unpacked, and then I think we're in that folder. Perfect, go to SoundCloud and go to select folder and it'll load it up. And again, I already have it loaded because it's sitting right over here. So now if you go to your apps and you open it up, you should be in SoundCloud. It might take a couple of minutes to open up, so just be patient. But eventually the app will open and you'll be within the SoundCloud app. So guys, this is how you can run Android apps within your Chrome web browser. Like I said, this is a really cool proof of concept. I wouldn't rely on it for anything really important or critical, but still something cool to try. So if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.